In this video, we're going to look at MCL braces or braces for medial collateral ligament sprains. Now, first we'll start to see whether you actually need to wear a brace or not, because not everybody needs them. Then we'll look at what a brace does for your knee and why it's sometimes beneficial to wear them. And then definitely we'll look at what the best type of brace is or what you're looking for in a brace when you do buy one. And lastly, we'll look at how long you've got to wear the brace for. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Mareka. I'm one of the physiotherapists from sportsinjuryphysio.com, where you can get online physiotherapy assessment as well as treatment of your injuries. Have a look at the description of this video if you want a link to the website. Do you actually need to wear a brace when you have an MCL sprain or tear? Now, if you've got a grade one injury to your medial collateral ligament, then the research shows that in most cases, you don't have to wear a brace. So it will depend on the type of activities you want to be doing, whether you need the brace or not. Um, but usually you can complete your rehab within a few weeks and you don't need to give it extra stability. But if you have a grade two or a grade three tear, then the stability of the knee starts to be affected. And usually if you can give it a brace that makes it a bit more stable, those ligament injuries heal a bit better. So if you've got a grade two or three, you will likely benefit from wearing a brace. Now, if you want more information about grading and everything like that, I've made a whole video that just talks about the different grades and the treatment options for MCL strains. Um, yeah, and it has a lot more information. So I'll link to that in the description of this video as well. What does a brace do for MCL sprain? Why, why does it help? Well, if we look at what an MCL or medial collateral ligament is meant to do, it's on the inside of your knee and it stops the joint from gapping on the inside. Now, like I mentioned before, if you've got a grade one, there's not a lot of fibers of the ligament that's injured, so it's pretty stable. It's not gonna gap too much. But if a significant portion of the fibers is injured, then that strain from just your normal walking and things can stop the ligament from healing properly. So what a brace does is it provides that external support so that it pretends it's the ligament for a while, that the ligament don't take the strain and it has time to heal. A brace can also help you to safely start doing a bit more weight bearing and walking and even your rehab exercises more early. And what the research is showing is that starting the exercises earlier in your recovery while wearing the brace can actually help speed up your recovery. What type of brace is best for MCL strains? Let's first look at what braces to avoid. So things you want to avoid is any brace that keeps your leg dead still and don't allow your knee to move. Now, the reason for that is because what the research shows is if you immobilize the knee straight for a long period of time, for several weeks, then actually the cells don't form to heal that ligament. So the ligament doesn't heal as well as it should. Whereas if you get early movement, it heals much better. The other type of brace to avoid are soft braces that don't have any support in them. So typically those ones that you just pull up over the knee that's made of lycra type material, they do not provide enough support and they are not appropriate if you have a grade two or three MCL tear. What you're looking for is you're looking for a brace that has metal or carbon, so strong rods on the inside and the outside, but that also includes a hinge. So the, the rod stops the, the leg from moving too far in and out, so gapping, but the hinge allows you to bend and straighten your knee. So you can get the movement it needs to help the ligament recover, but you're avoiding the strain that will do the opposite. Now it's important to understand that not all hinged knee braces are the same. You get different levels of quality and different levels of support. So let's look at the different types that you can get and who may benefit from wearing which. The most stable type of hinged knee brace that you can get are the ones that goes really high up the thigh and high down the lower leg, or low down the lower leg. Um, and these type of braces are most appropriate for grade three strains. They usually also have a adjustable um, hinge, which means you can set it that it won't straighten your knee or allow your knee to go fully straight during the early phases. And that's, this can be useful because it's usually that position of fully straight that also puts a bit more strain on your, on your ligament. So then after a couple of weeks, it can be adjusted that it then does allow your knee to straighten fully as you start to heal. So the fully supported knee braces, like the ones in the picture here, 
most appropriate for grade three. They're quite bulky, so if you can get away without them, it may be a better option if you've got a grade two to try some of the other ones. By the way, I will put links to examples of these on Amazon um, in the description of this video as well. Okay, so if we look at medium support braces with adjustable hinges are my second option. And these are appropriate for grade two tears, especially if it's really painful to fully extend your knee at the start. So they still have metal rods on the sides. They just don't go as high up the thigh and as low down the lower leg. So they're not quite as bulky, um, but they also still have uh, braces, uh, adjustable hinges that you can set to certain degrees to avoid that full extension. Or some of them even have it built in that it naturally avoids that full end range of extension. Then my least favorite type of knee brace for this type of injury is one that has a hinge that can't adjust. So they're the basic ones, but they're usually also the cheapest ones. And they will do the job. They're just not quite as fancy. And if your knee is painful to fully extend, you're going to have to be careful to avoid that range on your own. So they still have the metal rods on the sides and they've got a hinge, but you just can't set the hinge to avoid that last end of range. They also don't go high up above the knee or too low down below the knee. So they're not quite as bulky. A common question we get asked is, should I be wearing my brace when I do my exercises? Now, definitely during the early stages, yes. As you start recovering and you progress in your rehab, your physio may tell you to start removing your brace when you do it, but it will depend on how well you progress. So you definitely start your rehab exercises during the early stages wearing the brace. And also whenever you go walking, and especially if you're gonna be walking on uneven terrain, but it may be a good idea to avoid very uneven terrain during the initial stages of your rehab. How long do you have to wear your brace for? Well, the research tells us that grade ones don't really need a brace. Grade two should wear it for at least three weeks and grade three should wear it for at least six weeks. Now remember, this is general advice. So it may not apply to you and your doctor may have very specific reasons for giving you other advice to this. So if you're not quite sure and you, you're not you're wondering why are you being told something different, ask your doctor. They'll be able to give you reason for that. Excellent. Hope you found this useful. Now remember, if you need more help with an injury, you're welcome to consult one of the team via video call. The link to the website is in the description of this video. Take care.